Hey guys, what's up? My name's Jason, and I recently just switched to these GTR carbide headlights from the original stock headlights, and a lot of you guys have been asking questions about this. I had questions about this light as far back as this video right here where I talked about the Napa compressor in there. Ever since then, I've been eyeing one of these, and I finally went ahead and got them. Now, GTR did not provide these to me for free, so I had to pay for these. So I appreciate you guys checking out this channel. And if you do feel inclined to buy one of these, I would appreciate you guys using a link that I have below. So guys, like I said, this is the new GTR carbide headlight. A lot of you guys know that on my old headlights, this whole section right here was peeling, uh, chipping, and it was turning all sorts of weird colors. I tried everything to fix it, but it was unsuccessful. Now on those, one thing I did really like is that I would swapped out the uh, headlights with some LEDs, but um, you know, at the end of the day, if the housing's kind of gone and everything, I think it was just time to switch it up. Now on these headlights, you have the high beams on this side right here, and you have the two low beams as well as a DRL. This will come in an amber or a clear side marker. I went with the clear side marker just because I have a lot of yellow going on here, and um, I just prefer the look of the um, kind of smoked or clear side marker you know that will turn orange once you turn on the lights so on the design here you've got i think they call this the jewel eyes this is going to be these right here and uh, that is going to be blacked out in the back here with a little bit of a chrome accent now some people have a issue with the chrome accent on there they want it just all black but i actually think that the chrome accents kind of blend with the rest of uh, my lighting you know there's no chrome accents on this but it kind of gives that illusion so when you're looking at these lights together they kind of have a uh, matchy matchy feel to them and i really do like that now these actually do perform a lot better they have a lot crisper line but i will talk more about that later right now i'm kind of just talking about the aesthetics again not something that will affect the performance but there is a sequential turn signal here that will start on this end and go to this end a little bit easier to see at night you know just a little bit of a cooler upgrade doesn't really help the performance but it's just something that comes along with it so also on startup this will do a little sequential thing and uh, i will show you that in a little bit so because I am very busy, I did have this installed at Running for Tacos, but I will drop a link below to Trail4R. There's a super easy install. There is a panel underneath here. You'll just remove that, take out the old light with a few bolts, and then transfer a piece, a little harness that's down here. You'll transfer that from the old one onto this. It is very easy. Once you've done that, there's only one more step you really need to do, and that is aiming the headlights. Now I'll show you guys how to actually aim these headlights. It is super easy. It just takes a little bit of adjustment and you can get the absolute perfect headlight aiming pattern with that adjustment. So when it first came out, I believe this one was a little bit higher than this one here. And um, all it took was a little bit of adjusting and it got it pretty level. Gave it a nice cutoff, though I'm not putting my headlights right in people's eyes. I'm really just seeing kind of at the hood level, especially with being a lifted vehicle, I do uh, already cause probably a lot of annoyance on the road. So I don't wanna be blinding people as I drive by. All right, so all you're gonna do is pop out these little pins here. They're super easy. You just get a screwdriver and kind of twist it a little bit and they should pop out. Now I would recommend that you actually put these in a little bag so you don't lose them. Um, you can get them pretty easy, but I just don't feel like going and getting more. I'd rather just keep what I have. So you can see after you've lifted the little cowl there, this is super easy to get to back here. Um, there's this screw that's holding it on, a screw over here, a few more, but um, how you're going to adjust this light in particular is this right here which should be an eight millimeter bolt i believe i might be wrong i think there's a screw 
driver on that end there. It's hard to see from there, but I believe that there is a Phillips on this side. So on this side, it's right here. You can see from here, it does have a Phillips head on there. So you can either use an eight millimeter or a Phillips head. I will likely just use an eight millimeter because it's easier to get to there. So I'm gonna wait till it gets a little bit darker to actually do this. So um, you may not be able to see this as well, but I wanted to show you this before it got too dark, but that is how we are going to adjust the light up and down and left and right. All right, so ideally you would want to use like a garage or something like that, but uh, I don't have a garage and my driveway kind of aims up like that. So just to make sure and get it as close as possible, came over here to AutoZone and I'm gonna use their wall to do this. So essentially what you're going to do is you're going to measure up to this little dot that's on there. Now, it's gonna vary based on how yours is lifted. Mine needs a little bit more lift in the front. Um, you know, I'm sitting a little low, so mine's sitting around 43 or something like that. But what you're gonna do is you're going to go up to the wall here. You're going to measure two inches below 43, and then you will back up 25 feet. Once you do that, you'll try to get these lines here to um, be on that line and be the same height. Now you can still see on this one, even though they are not at the correct height, you can see how hard of a cutoff that is on these lights. So if you were to do this with your stock headlights, you would see a bleeding of the light up here, but you can see how harsh of a cutoff that is. So that's going to keep the light out of other people's eyes and uh, still give you that nice bright down the road look that you uh, that you want is there. Uh, I've been driving around for a little bit. I have a three inch lift on here and um, I'm still not getting that line in anybody's eyes. You can see how harsh that cutoff is right there. It is a perfect line. There is no bleed going up. The only thing you're getting off there is the turn signal. If I turn that off, you can barely see above that in the uh, in the dark here, which is good because that is about the level. You know, this is a pretty tall trailer. That is about the level of uh, you know right into people's eyes. So the reason I really like that harsh cutoff is we can have a much brighter, concentrated light on here that uh, doesn't blind people. Whereas if I just make my stock headlights brighter, uh, that beam pattern is just going to be a uh, completely wide open um, you know, line that really doesn't have a line, it's just a light. This beam pattern perfectly illuminates the road, everything I need to see out here, and it doesn't blind oncoming traffic. Now, so a really nice beam pattern now that we've actually uh, lined up everything. Very happy with these lights so far. 